been a rough, rough year. You know, Craig's our boss, played against Cliff a lot. Lute Olson was my neighbor in Arizona, saw him a lot. Great guy. Last time I talked to him, he, he was getting advice on what kind of dog to get. Uh, and I set him up with my, my handler. And then obviously Chad would, was just on the show a few months ago. And when I started reading about he had been battling colon cancer for four years, I'm like, I had no idea. Yo, man, this dude was working and doing all his stuff with class and dignity. And he was the most humble guy. And I'm like, to have that in the back of your mind and still doing all your TV stuff, that takes a strong man. Uh, my thoughts and prayers with all those, all, all those affected. And man, when somebody dies in the NBA, it's like part of our family. So the Robinson family and the Olson family, the Berry family <clears throat> and the Boswick family, man, just, just thank, thank you for sharing those people with us. Uh, my condolences goes out to all those family. Cliff and Derek Coleman were some of the toughest guys I had to play against. The reason why, because they played five, but on offense, they played the four. So I'd have to go out and guard him. So I can remember Cliff saying, Shaq, I know you're going to score with me, but now you got to bring your big ass out to the three-point line. So, you know, he, he was wonderful. And, 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 you know, Chadwick, you know, even though I'm, I am who I am, it's, it's an honor for me to meet other superstars. You know, playing in L.A., that would make my day just seeing superstars. And, you know, when I finally met Mr. Black Panther, he was nice. Like Charles said, you know, he, he was humble. I never met uh, uh, Craig's dad. So, Craig, uh, my condolences to your family. But has been a very tough year, the worst year of, of my life. I lost a lot of people also, lost some people during COVID. And uh, you know, we just have to continue to uh, uh, move forward and hopefully it'll, it'll get better. But I wish 2020 was gone. Oof. Yeah, I, I, well, I, condolences to all the families. Um, you know, obviously we've all known Cliff a little bit closer at times because we were competitors uh, with him. Uh, he's from, you know, went to UConn, Connecticut, you know, so I, you know, we know a lot about Cliff and, and the condolences to the family. But over the last year, I became really closer to Chadwick because when he came on his show, uh, we were talking and he just was like, okay, I need a favor from you. He's like, what? I need you to take my dad to a Carolina. We're the biggest Chapel Hill Carolina fans, you know, and we just started talking about Tar Heel stories. And so we just became really good friends. And then as we saw last week, he was in that tribute that we did for Kobe Bryant, yeah. which is, was eerie that I had him pose in an in a iconic picture the way um, the actual Kobe had done after winning. And so I'm actually shooting that. And uh, one of the last things he was talking about, my son at North Carolina. But then, then about a month ago, he sent me a 26-page letter through email that he said he was sending to all of his family members. And he said, Kenny, you should do this with your family. And it's, a, it's called Grocery List. And it was about what, how you should live, how you should eat, how you should take care of yourself and take care of your bodies. And so he, and he was good. And he's actually, for all his family members who want it, he was actually going to pay for them to do that if they wanted him to do it. And so that's when the humility and that, all of those things, that, never at once, Chuck, mentioned in, I'm going through cancer. Not once. No. Not one time. You know, I talked to the guy, you know, multiple times. It never happened. So just um, unbelievable. And lastly, I know, Shaq, you said, you know, I wish 2020. I love 2020 because of this. Um, it made me more aware how much people, how, how much I love people. You have never said you love me more. Every time we get off the phone, love you, bro. You never did that before. I, my kids stayed in my house for four months. We talked about things we never did before. Like, so business-wise, start adventures, Jet Academy, all these different, that I've never done before. So as much as 2020 and social injustice, speaking out, getting opportunities like this, as much as there is bad, I I'm happy that 2020 brought that out of me. No magic words at a, uh, at a time like this to relieve the pain that these families are, are feeling, the Olsons and the Bozemans and the Robinsons and the Berry family, just uh, prayers for y'all uh, for comfort and strength and peace.